Okay, welcome my viewers. This is your teacher Pasco or Mr. Distinctions. If you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe because on this channel we learn a lot of subjects. Yeah, we learn all the composer subjects. And make sure you click on the notification button so that whenever I upload a new video, you get to know. Okay, so in this video specifically, I want us to look at this question which came in biology uh 2024 school certificate. And this question came on question um uh, b5 question 5b so to say yes yeah. so i want you to pay particular attention to this question because if you just uh understand the way i'm going to solve this question then it means you'll be actually solving all the questions correctly whenever they ask um something related to this one yeah so i want you to understand this and in case you haven't yet watched the video i actually recorded uh based on the topics which you need to concentrate on in biology make sure you watch that video actually i've provided the link in the comment section so just check you're going to find the link and make sure you revise the topics i have actually uh given okay so in this question we are trying to show the possibility of having a child with blood group o while is uh her parents the husband has blood group a and the wife has blood group B. So, I want you to understand something. I want you to understand something. So, they asked us to show how the parent with the husband having blood group A and the wife having blood group B can actually have a child with blood group O. So, this question is very, very simple. There are, there are, some, just, uh, there are just some principles which you just need to understand. And if you want to understand very well those principles, I have recorded a part of video explaining uh, the blood group inheritance. So make sure you also check in the comment section. Immediately you watch that video, I'm telling you, you are going to understand to the fullest, yeah, how uh, the blood groups actually are inherited from the parents to the offspring. Yeah, so I'm just going to concentrate much on the, uh, on the question itself and show you how to handle this question but for the explanation of how the um the blood groups actually in uh have inherited from the parents to the uh to the offspring make sure you watch that video okay so i'm just going to give you one key point which you need to be bearing in mind whenever you've been asked a question like this one so what you need to understand is that we have three alleles actually which control blood group inheritance we have this allele, we have this allele, and we have this allele. We have uh, a, an allele for blood group A, an allele for blood group B, we have an allele for blood group O. So, here what you need to understand, the most important key point which you need to understand is that you need to know and actually understand that blood group A and blood group B, these are dominant allele. These are dominant alleles, and this one, which is of course the allele for blood group O, is a recessive allele i don't know if you're getting it yeah so you need to understand that the allele for blood group a is dominant the allele for blood group b is dominant while the allele for blood group o is is recessive and for that reason if you have two alleles we have the allele for blood group a and the allele for blood group b this will result in a child having uh, a blood group what a b hope you've seen some people who've got blood group a b it is because of this one being a dominant allele and this one being a dominant allele and if they combine they will produce something which we call a codominance yeah they will actually these two alleles actually will actually um show up both of them will actually show up and as a result a person is going to have a blood group a b Hope you understand that. Yeah. So that is uh, one of the important points which you need to, which you need to know as we're talking about uh, blood group inheritance. So now in this case, we are told to say the husband actually had blood group A and the wife had blood group what? O. But we've been told to show, I mean at blood group B, but we've been told to show uh, actually how these two parents can actually produce a child with blood group oh okay so here is the structure here is how we actually handle this question the first thing you need to write the parents yeah you show or you indicate that we have uh the husband we have the husband and also 
we have uh, the wife. Okay, hope you are seeing that and hope you are following. So now, after you've written that, the second thing you need to show the actually the phenotypes of these two parents. Yeah, hope you are following. You need to show the phenotypes of these two parents. So, and in this case, we've been taught to say the husband had blood group what? Blood group A as his phenotype, and the wife had blood group what? Blood group, blood group B. I hope you're able to see that. So now the second step is the uh, the most important step, and this is the determining step whether you get this question correct or wrong. So now, how are you supposed to write the genotypes? How are you supposed to write the genotypes of these two parents? So now, based on the question, the question actually uh, has given us a grip to say these two parents, these two parents, the husband and the wife, actually had an ability of producing a child with blood group O, and of which you need to understand that since they have they are producing a child with blood group a i mean with blood group o therefore these two parents actually had heterozygous blood groups what do i mean by saying heterozygous yeah that's why i've, I've actually told you to say watch that video just check the link in the des description button okay so when we talk of heterozygous blood group we have uh, this blood group which can actually be homozygous blood group A, and this is how it actually looks when uh, when this homozygous blood group A. Actually, it has uh, two A's on top of I's. This is how we write the genotype of blood group what? Blood group A. Yeah, of which it is uh, homozygous blood group A. And now, when we talk of heterozygous blood group A, heterozygous blood group A is written this way. On top here, it has um, an O instead of what? Instead of an A. Hope that you've seen that. So this is heterozygous blood group A, and this is homozygous blood group what? Blood group A. As you can see, homo means the same. Yeah, a type of blood group which is having the same letters on top. But when we talk of hetero, hetero means different. Yeah, so it is a type of blood group which is having different what? Letters on, on top. So now, it is not possible. It is not possible for these two parents to produce a child with blood group O if both of these parents were homozygous. Actually, uh, the, the, the husband had this type of blood group and the wife had actually this type of blood group. Yeah, as you can see, there is, there is no what? There is no O in these two types of blood groups, of which they are homozygous blood groups. So these two parents, if these were the genotypes, there is no possibility of having a child with blood group O. For them to have a child with blood group O, then it means the husband and the wife actually had heterozygous blood groups A and D and B. Hope you understand that. So that was only crew which was here, which you need to understand. So for the husband to actually have a possibility of having a child with blood group O, then it means that the joint type was like this, was uh, heterozygous blood group O. Oh, hope you've seen that. Even the wife, because it is not possible, even if this one can be homozygous, I mean can be heterozygous, what, what is this one is homozygous? Let's say, for example, the wife at this, sorry, the wife at this type of blood group. Even in this case, it is not possible for them to have a child with blood group A. The reason is simple. This blood group, as I mentioned earlier on, this is a recessive blood group. Hence, if it is found in either blood group A, and uh, I mean, if it is found in a leaf of blood group O, I mean M, and or in an, um, a leaf with blood group B, this will not actually show up. This will be suppressed due to the fact that this is a recessive blood group. So now, for this blood group, for this blood group, for a child to have blood group O, it means these parents were both heterozygous blood groups A and what? And B. I hope you are getting that. I hope you are getting that. Those are some of the points which are very, very important, which you need to understand whenever you're talking about blood groups. All right. So now here we are going to write the genes. I mean the garments. So when you're writing the garments, all you need to do is just to split these, these alleles. 
So what we are going to do is that we are going to say uh, we are going to have something like this and then we are going to have something like this. Yeah, and then even here we are going to do the same. Even here we are going to do the same. Okay, so now at this stage all you need to do is just now to cross. So this one must actually go with this one. So we are going to have A, B. As you can see, we've actually crossed this one with this one. And then this same one is going to be crossed with this one. So we're going to have A, then even O. Yeah, I hope you've seen that. And then we've come to this one. This one is going to be crossed with this one. So we're going to have a, I mean B, then O. And then this one, this one is going to be crossed with this one. And our joint type now is going to be O, O. Hope you've seen that. Yeah, for the lack of space, I've written two O's down there. So if you consider this, if you consider this, you're going to see to say on the phenotypes of the offsprings, this one is having A, B. And like I explained earlier on, since this one, this allele is a dominant allele, and this allele is a dominant allele. Allele uh, for blood group A is a, a, is a dominant allele. Also, allele for blood group B is a dominant allele. And for that reason, if these two actually combine, they produce a phenotype of what is blood group A, B. Hope you've seen that. We've come to this one. This one, as you can see, this uh, we've crossed this one with this one. Sorry. Uh, we've crossed this one with with this one. Yeah, and we are having AO. So since we are having AO, and I said to say blood group, uh, the allele for blood group A is dominant over the allele for blood group O. And that simply means that in our phenotype, we are just going to have blood group what? Blood group A. Same to this one. Since we are having BO, this simply means that this, since B is a dominant allele over uh this allele for blood group O. Here we're just going to have blood group what? Blood group B. Now we've come to the last one. The last one we have in O, O. And we've said to say uh, this allele, which is the allele for blood group O, is a recessive allele. Now we've got two recessive alleles in this, in this case of which they are the same. We are having O and D, O. And this is what is going to give us a child with what? Blood group what team? blood group O. So this was all about this question. All you need to understand, you just need to know to say uh, the allele for blood group A is dominant. The allele for blood group B is dominant. What is the allele for blood group O is recessive. For the parents to have a child with blood group O, there must be both. Actually, they must have uh, heterozygous blood groups. Hope you understand that that is the most important question, uh, most important point which you need to understand. They must be both heterozygous because if they are not uh, heterozygous, if they do not have a joint type, which, which of course is, a, uh, is uh, heterozygous, then it means they cannot have a child with blood group what blood group O because this allele for blood group O is recessive. It can only show up if actually if it actually uh, it combines with another allele for blood blood group O because recessive alleles actually only show up if they are combined with another recessive allele. So this was all about this question and I'm very much sure that you've understood. If you have any question you can actually write uh, in the comment box and if you you found this video to be very helpful make sure you click uh, on the like button and also you put any comment in our comment section. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching.